The program typecast.c is going to be our first program that uses a helper function. And it's also going to demonstrate some non-intuitive behavior of math in C that you should become very familiar with. Okay. So here's a listing of our program. Uh, every program, as we mentioned, has exactly one main function, and that's where execution begins. So execution begins down here by defining two variables, numerator and denominator, and giving them the values 5 and 2. Then we call this function called print ratio, and we pass to it two, the two integers, numerator and denominator, and after that, the program exits. Okay, so all the action is happening in the helper function, print ratio. So if we go up here and take a look at print ratio, we can see that it's type void because it's not going to return any values. And we also see that it takes two arguments, and these are called numer and denom. These argument names don't have to be the same as the argument names down here, but they do have to be the same data type. So you can see that denom and int are both defined, or numerator are both defined as type int. Okay? Now, when we enter this function after being called here, we define a new variable called ratio, and we just set ratio equal to the numerator divided by the denominator, and we print out the results and I'm going to uh, wait to analyze the rest of it until we run the program. We've already compiled it, so let's try running it. Here's the results. Okay, so we passed over five and two, and this function print ratio is just printing out five divided by two. So in the first line here, you can see the ratio of five divided by two is 2.0. So how could that be? Well, if we take a look at the first time we do the division right up here, uh, numerator divided by denominator, we know that numer and denom are both type integers. So when the division sign sees that you're dividing two integers, it thinks that you want to stay with integers. So it's going to drop any fractional component. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. It drops the 0.5. So it's going to assign that value of 2 now to ratio, and then we just print out that value. Okay. Now if you go down to this next line here, you can see that we're not just dividing numerator here by denominator, we're dividing by something that says double denominator, and that's called a typecast. We are casting this variable denom as type double. So this is going to take that, change the type from integer to double, and now when we see this, oh, by the way, denominator itself, denom doesn't change, it's still integer, but the thing inside the parentheses here is now a double. So now the division sign sees we're dividing an integer by a double, and therefore is going to change numer to be a double, so we can divide two doubles, okay? So now we've got essentially 5.0 divided by 2.0, and the ratio there then is 2.5, and that's what gets printed out down here. Right. Okay, so the last one, now we're going to explicitly change both sides. So the numerator is going to be changed into a double. The denominator is going to be changed into a double. So the divide sign sees two doubles on each side. It does a, a double precision division, not an integer division. It takes the result, which is 2.5, and assigns it to ratio, and again we print it out, so we see down here that the result is 2.5. Okay, so what's happening here? There's two kinds of type conversions that are going on. One is an explicit type conversion. And that's where we're doing double That's where we're doing double denom, for example. This expression takes that integer and changes it to a double. We also have implicit type conversion going on. And that's happening over here, where we're dividing the integer numerator by the double denominator. This divide sign wants, wants uh, arguments of the same type on each side. So it's automatically changing the numerator here to be of type double. So that's what's happening there. There's an implicit 
type conversion. Some type conversions are called promotions. A promotion is a type conversion where you take in a smaller integer type and change it to a larger integer type. For instance, a char to an int, or an int to a long int. Or for a floating point, it's where you go from a float to a double. It's called a promotion because every value that is representable in the smaller type is also representable in the larger type. On the other hand, when you have a conversion from an integer to a double, for example, it may be possible that you can no longer represent the integer exactly anymore. 